It's 2024, UK theme parks are back open and I need to get to one. So I think I'm gonna go to Fort Park. So I, don't, I can't be bothered to drive. So let's just go to Fort Park, come on. And just like that, we're at Fort Park. Uh, um, yeah, uh, let's let's go to Fort Park. There we go, that's better, perfect. While I'm on my way in, let's have a look at what's to come and I'll see you on the inside. Let's go. typical sort of early season fashion I had a challenge planned which I now can't do I was planning on purchasing something when I arrived to use that to do a challenge for this video and unfortunately they don't have it um, so that's for a future day so for now it's just me you and a day at Fort Park and yeah I'm gonna first let's go and get a donut first because I've missed donut time more than anything go and have a look at Iperia do some rides and I'll catch up with you in a minute So I've got my Hershey donut. I'm a little bit annoyed though, so I didn't have any of the stamps in my cards. I've got quite a lot of stamps towards three donuts. I think I've got about eight cards in total, and I was trying to get to ten so I could eat ten donuts in one day. But I'm gonna. So donut time. You owe me a stamp, okay? I'm gonna show. You, I'm gonna play this to you next time I'm here, and I want my stamp because I want my free donut. Mm, nice. I don't want to get copyrighted, but I've had the donut, now I'm going on stealth. I'll see you in a minute, bye. So Fort Park have really made it difficult this year with regards to not getting copyrighted because the music is so loud. So I'm only sort of filming where I can because by stealth is just no chance, absolutely zero chance. And by double tea party there's some music, I don't know if it's like official music or whatever, but we're walking around now to go and see Nemesis, Inferno. Uh, and yeah, I'm not that bothered, but controversial statement is I don't think Nemesis is that good. I don't think Nemesis Inferno is that good. So, yeah, I know, controversial. They want to be in there. I, knew, I literally I knew they wanted to be in the background because I could see them sort of like sit there like, oh yeah, we're going to be in the background. Well done, you got in the video. Just ask me. Ask me, you want to be in the video? Come be in the video, it's fine. But yeah, head towards Nemesis. Don't know if I ride it or not. See what the queue sounds like. And yeah, just make our way around the park. Just everywhere in the park, it just towers over everything. It is unbelievable. And when there's trains going on that, that's just going to be such a sight. So we got Veggie Box now, which is looking. I don't know what it is. Let's have a look. And then we've also got this. This is now not the uh, Wraps place anymore. Halloumi Wraps. This is now Cape Cod. Uh, so again. And then why all the fuss about this place opening and then it's it's not open it's never open is, is it gone for 2024 did it come and go quite quickly i quite enjoyed the apple fries but looks like it's not opening this year is it just me or has theme park food got really expensive now or just food in general uh, what was the cost of living crisis jesus christ mate bringing pat lunches next time 11 quid is there any new merch? That's Mardi Gras. So I'm assuming, is that is that last year's Mardi Gras just brought back out again? Oh, hang on. Um, pretty sure I saw that last year and that last year. Um, definitely saw that last year. Saw all this stuff last year. So there's not much new. Um, 
We've got a new section in the mega store just around here. I'm not sure. Is that changing rooms? Or is it just a way out? Uh, Walking Dead merch. Again, I think that's all last year stuff, isn't it? I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing that. But then I think that's just new for. You now have the. You can now see the photos when you come out of the shop. So I go on Walking Dead in a bit, but you come out and you come out through here now and you go into the shop. Again, this sort of, that was definitely here last year. I don't recognise that. Uh, I don't recognise that. Um, it looks extremely wide. Um, but yeah, no like new Fort Park merch, you know, like just a Fort Park t-shirt. I get it's all rides and stuff, but I just want, is it, oh that's quite nice though. 45 pounds, this, is this plops on the hand or what? 45 quid? Anyway, yeah, nothing new by the looks of it, so let's go and do some rides. So it's quite quiet today, it's Monday, the day after opening weekend. It's busier than I thought, but still quiet. Um, and I don't know why, whether it's just a phase at the moment, but so I'm just trying to avoid the drips off of uh, storm surge. Um, yeah, this year, the thought of being in busy parks and stuff is just stressing me out, so it's a new thing for me I'm trying to get used to. Maybe if I'm here today, I'm still trying to avoid people because I find it awkward to film. I don't know, like, when I go to European parks and stuff, I find it absolutely fine to film. I don't care, whereas in the UK, I don't know why, I just, I'm, I really care what people think, and I, I try not to film and stuff, and I get a little bit kind of, it's weird, anyone else like that? But, anyway, I'm, I need to pluck up the courage to get on with it, so, we move on. I think the problem is, is at Fort Park, everyone sees the camera, and they're like, oh, and it, they're drawn to it, but anyway, let's go and do some more rides. I'm heading now over towards Saw, have a look at Hyperia, and yeah, do some more rides and then see what else there is to do. It's over. Yeah. I think I don't like the square Yeah, go on. I'm a YouTuber apparently. I don't reckon he does subscribe to me. I want to know. I want to find out. Um, yeah, I can't believe I just actually said yes to am I a YouTuber. Because I'm definitely not a YouTuber. I make YouTube videos. But I'm definitely not a YouTuber. So Colossus is closed today. I believe they're technically wet. Oh, again, really loud music. Uh, they've been testing it, uh, it's not testing right now, it did get stuck earlier on the lift hill, but no Colossus today, but not that I'd go on anyway. I know it's got a nice fancy new paint job, and it is looking great, but it is still Colossus. And as, a, a, as I say, you cannot polish a turd, and this is still a crap ride that looks fresh, but in the background... Oh my god, I am... I, I, I'm, I'm, that, oh, I can't even speak, that is unbelievable. I just thought when I just looked at the merchandise there, I didn't see anything with a new logo on it. So is that the issue? Is that why there's nothing new? Because they don't have the new logo merchandise yet. I mean, merchandise is a massive thing, right? Especially for pass holders. Like, if we're coming here for free, we need to spend money, but we need merch to buy, because we're going to buy it, right? But there's none for us to buy. There's only retro merch to buy. That seems, that seems nuts to me that there's no merch with a new logo on it. Thought I'd check in this shop as well, and I was right. It is just all of the old Infinity logo merch they've got. So they've got nothing with the new logo on it. Um, which really surprised... Oh, wait. I know, I lie. They have a bucket hat, so I'm assuming they arrived in time. Um, but yeah, nothing else that I can see that has the new logo on it, which, yeah, like I said, that really surprises me. But... Hopefully when it comes, it's very, very good and it's worth the wait. Samurai is being painted currently and it absolutely stinks of paint. But yeah, it's looking good in the red. I'm looking forward to seeing when it's fully finished. And again, it's this whole area just looks, it's perfect. So that needed a paint job really, because look at his backdrop. Right, so it's time to go and ride this bad boy. I haven't ridden this for quite a while actually because I don't think I rode it the last few times I've been here. But yeah, let's go and check out Saw the Ride and see how much it overhangs and how much it's just in the shadow of what's going to be the best ride in the UK. Simply, isn't it? It's just going to be the best ride in the UK. But anyway, let's go do Saw and then see what else there is to do. Let's go. 15 minute queue time. Lovely jubbly. Let's hopefully, hopefully it's not too painful, but let's find out. Painful. Oh 
my back. I don't think I was quite ready for it. <laughs> like I need to get myself, like my body, like maybe like theme park body is like a thing. Like where your body, like you, you tense muscles and you kind of get jolted around a little bit and then you, you kind of, as the year goes on, you get used to it. And then you take a few months off and then you get thrown around in those funny angles and then it just feels way worse. Or I'm just getting old. I'm getting old. I'm a dad now. My knees, literally as soon as he arrived, my knees started aching. It's, like a, it's just like, a, maybe it's just a thing. Like, you become a dad and that's it. Just boom. But anyway, heading this way now. It's, I love this open area. When there's no events, it's just lovely and open and nice and quiet. And it looks like there's a bit more, bench, bit more, a few more benches as well. By the side of the lake, nice view. Uh, I'm waffling now, but anyway, I'm gonna go. I've got to go swarm before I leave. Um, but yeah, just a brief visit to Fort Park. But let's go and see what else there is to do, shall we? Come on, let's go. Oh, see, this is heaven for me. Quiet, just a quiet day at a theme park. I remember being in this almost exact spot like two years ago now, doing my first ever vlog here at Fort Park. And I think I was stood there. Let me see if I can find the clip. But considering my first vlog and the nervousness and the awkwardness around people. I've enjoyed it. It's made it a lot easier for me to find quiet spots to do it. Hopefully, as I go on, I'll get more used to it. But for now, it's quite nice just to be able to be on my own and, and not have everyone around me. Wow, how times have changed. I think it was actually three years. It might be two years, three years. I, can't, I haven't got the date on the video, but anyway, but yeah, I was, Similar time, quite literally, almost to the, it could be to the day. It could be two years ago to the day that I was here making that first video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, but please don't, because it's awful. Um, but yeah. Oh, so happy to be back. I absolutely love this place. I absolutely love this place. And I cannot wait to come here over and over and over. And hopefully do more entertaining videos than this one. But this is just like a catch up. We're back. I'm not doing a log ride app today I'm just quite literally taking it all in and yeah just being back in the park how good is this if you're back at Warren Towers if you love that park if you're back here you're back at Legoland back at Cheserton wherever you are how good is this feeling so only a 10 minute wait for one of my favorite rides here uh, yeah I'll take that I might ride it twice I might queue up for a front row but yeah 10 minutes for swarm let's go Yes, yeah, a swarm. Love that. It's just, it's such a good ride. And it was so nice to actually have a comfortable harness. That is still one of the best things about this ride for me is that the smoothness of it, the comfort of it, everything about it. I love it. So, swarm done. There it goes. Uh, and it will always have a special place to me now, being that I rode it on my own, completely on my own on TV last year. If you haven't seen it, there's a video. Um, yeah, I rode it for National Roller Coaster Day on ITVs this morning. And I had it completely to myself. They closed the park, and they closed this area for me. And I loved it, because why would I not? Oh, there it goes, look at that. Uh, yeah, so leaving the Swarm Island now. And yeah, let's go and see what else there is to do on this beautiful day, sort of, at Port Park. Does anyone else have the um, Canon G7X Mark II? And the, the, the little dial to zoom in and out is like, broken? I don't know if it's one of those things that's actually worth sending off to get it repaired because you can do it on the front dial, but it's just annoying because like I like that little like motion just to, and it's like stiff. I don't know if I got rainwater in it when I was at Pops Land or what, I don't know, but for some reason it just doesn't work now. Anyone else had that problem? Anyone else got it fixed? Let me know. So Big Easy Boulevard is looking fresh. I mean, anything's an improvement from Angry Birds in my opinion, but I quite like this. This is looking good. I'm going to go and check out the Sunset Cinema, now showing Ready Player One. Let's go and see what this is like. So I love Ready Player One as a film, really good film, and I love Steven Spielberg. However, that made no sense. 15 minutes of the movie with the odd, quite a lot of just air blowing at me, and then shake the seat rocking at me. And then the audio just stopped working halfway through, so I thought I'd give it a go. But like I said, I love that's a good film, and the idea is good. The idea is better than Angry Birds. Delivery is poor, 
So will I go on it again? No, but I'm glad to see it busy. Um, and I assume it just gives them the ability to just keep changing it up, keep doing new movies, new scenarios, and then I'm assuming at Fright Nights maybe they can introduce something like that. Hopefully, but yeah. A shame really, because I was quite looking forward to that, if I'm honest. Um, and yeah, it disappointed me, but I mean, I'm not coming to Fort Park to do that, am I? Let's be honest. So anyway, let's go find out. Find out? Find my house to do. So let's wander into this area, this newly themed area. Um, I've heard it's not exactly very themed, but does it need to be themed when it's the tallest and fastest in the UK? Yes, it's slightly short, but who cares about theming? Don't have to compensate when you've got that ridiculous lift hill and just, yeah, it's a Mack coaster, man. Like, doesn't need theming. White and gold, that's the theming. But it looks like the Burger King has had some theming. Sorry about the music, it's a bit loud. Uh, Burger King has been like, freshened up I'm not sure what a uh, Greek god Burger King is but I mean at least they've made it sort of fit in same with the toilets ladies men's accessibles and all gender cubicles uh, for Roche victorious games and then this beauty Wow I do wonder how much longer we've got left for arriving at Fort Park and not riding this I mean they're saying late spring I personally I thought May from the start um, sort of mid to late May. I thought that was a realistic time frame, similar to Jumanji World, so they can really kind of push that whole thing in the warmer months and know that everyone's gonna rush here for it. But I'm so excited to walk through here, not see these walls anymore, and just see that coaster going and just, I mean, without ride cars on it, it's still, I mean, when ride cars on it, you're gonna really see just how big that bloody thing is. But yeah, I can't wait, I'm excited. Anyway, heading around to the park now. Sort of getting towards the end of the day, it's getting a bit windy, getting a bit cold, so let's see what else there is to do before we head home. So one place I do want to check out before I leave is the new like sweet shop, because I'm really craving a bigger mix, and when I saw they posted that, I was like, I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna get one there. I'm assuming it's gonna be like six pound a pick a mix, but I want one, so I'm gonna go and get one. I'm gonna at least gonna go and see what they've got and hopefully get one and take it home. Uh, and then pretty much probably call it a day after that, because I've kind of done everything I wanted to do and I've quite literally only been here. About three hours, I think, in total. I got here just after lunchtime, uh, and it's about half past three. So, yeah, hopefully get out of here by four o'clock, beat the traffic, and yeah, Fort Park, baby. Here it is. Sweet Easy Candy Pips. What are candy pips? But yeah, let's have a look. Even I draw the line at £7.95 for Bigger Mix. It's a bucket, but still, I'm gonna go and maybe get some Haribo on my way home to get rid of that craving. But anyway, I think we're pretty much done now. Rest assured, I've got plenty of challenges planned for 2024. I've been working tirelessly off season to think of more creative, more original ideas, and just have to wait and see. Unfortunately, it started badly by not being able to do it today, but there's lots planned. So stay tuned, hit subscribe, do whatever you need to do because future videos, even I'm excited to be doing them. I'm annoyed, bad planning for me today. I'm a bit annoyed about that, but I'll be back and we'll have a challenge. But it was nice to just be back in the park today and just take it all in and be back at Fort Park. So that being said, I enjoyed making this video. I enjoyed being back at Fort Park and I'll see you on the next one.